It's the late shift, and interceptors Steve Oliver and rookie Aaron Stoney are on the lookout for Dodger drivers. Steve's been on the force since the year 2000. Being a family liaison officer and road death investigator has no time for one particular type of driver. They would drive on the infants, drink drugs. It, it, they are just the most selfish people you'll find. Um, they drive on the road and put everybody else in danger, um, you know, not just themselves. Um, and it is a complete disregard for the law and disregard for anybody else's safety uh, as well as their own. Uh, and there's absolutely no excuse for it in my eyes. A man in a van driving aggressively and tailgating has aroused thick suspicion. He decides to pull the driver over. Aaron exits and invites the suspect for a chat. Hello, Bob. Not bad, mate. How are you? Good, Why do you think I've stopped you then, mate? Yeah, really. You had a drink tonight? Yeah, I've got a drink tonight. Right. The man says he's only had a pint, but it's time to put that claim to the test. Time to get. What I'm going to do now is just uh, breathalyze you, because I can smell intoxicants on your breath. Press tube. Pop that in the top there. Deep breath from you, mate. Pull the seal around that end of the tube and blow steadily until I tell you to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. Thank you. Okay, you've provided positive roadside breath sample. That's it. Legal limit's 35. You've provided a sample of 92 at the roadside. So you're currently under arrest on suspicion of uh, drink driving. That's the it. Is almost three times over the drink driving limit. Three times. That's it. Face of the ban. So it's possible just to uh, walk home or uh, if one of them can drive it, check them out for a license and insurance. While Aaron breaks the news to the van's passengers, the suspect takes a sudden dislike to our cameraman. Not really here, is it? Yeah, was that actually? Why did you do something yesterday? Because it's in my car, it's coming out with me. After initially appearing calm, the alcohol is beginning to do the talking. What else is going to sit there? But now he's making threats. Uh oh, he's making threats. Sit there, right? See what happens then. Stick your own slip from me, please, sir. Stick your own slip from me, sir. The man now refuses to be cuffed, and his bravado soon turns ugly. He turns ugly and then crosses the line. Oh my god, it hurt, really? They give him one last chance to put the cuffs on. That's the front, please, sir. But he's not budging and becoming increasingly belligerent. The interceptors need to take back control before the situation escalates further. So Steve pulls out his parva spray. Uh, Steve has no option but to spray the suspect. What you saying against the gas, mate? The man seemed more concerned about his designer top than being sprayed. But as Aaron steps to one side, Steve unleashes the parva. It's similar to pepper spray, causing temporary pain in the eyes. It's had the desired effect. The man yields and is cuffed. That's it. He's cuffed. The suspect is sat on the pavement to recover from the effects of the parva spray. Lay him down on his side. Inside. Stay there. Up to the side, I'll put the there. Yeah, we'll manage to uh, get the gentleman out of the vehicle. Uh, he has been fathered. Uh, we just request a uh, van, please, to transfer. The barber spray is partly used due to the quick recovery time, and this man should be fine in 15 to 20 minutes. How are we doing, mate? You alright? Although the effects from the booze both on his head 
and a driving license might take a little longer. What do you think about sitting the gentleman up? Yeah, that's all. Yeah. All right. Go on. There we go, sir. Keep your legs out in front of you. That's it. Makes it easier for you. The man's ride to the nick arrives. There we go, sir. Here we go. Please pass. One, two, three, up we go, that's it. Up to the back of the van, come and sit. Up you go, sir, have a seat down to your left. It's not the palmer making the man cry now. It's his ripped favourite t-shirt. Steve has no sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that drew our attention to him in the first place was his manner of driving being uh, ridiculously close to the vehicle in front and accelerating hard up to get to the vehicle in front. Um, it is that sort of driving that, that causes collisions, causes uh, injury uh, and potentially causes death. Uh, and we have five deaths a day uh, on Britain's roads. We don't have five murders a day. Um, so why are we happy to accept five deaths a day? Uh, it's beyond me. The man blew 68 down at the station almost twice the legal limit. He pleaded guilty to drink driving and received a £120 fine, a £30 victim surcharge, £85 costs, and was disqualified from driving for 20 months.